change and eradicate the pain. If someone puts your arm behind your back and keeps lifting it, what are you going to feel? Pain. Why are you going to feel pain when your arm is lifted behind your back? Because your arm does not belong Jesus. there. Many people are in economic and financial pain. Why? Because they're just, they just don't belong there. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to try to be good. I don't. <laughs> You're experiencing pain right now in your economic situation, in your physical body, in your home. Guess what? Because you don't belong in the midst of that. That's a signal that you're in the wrong place. Jesus. It's not a signal that you should try to handle it and deal with it. It's a signal that you, try to, you have to get out of it. You've got to rise up above it. And you've got to do what it's necessary to do to get out of it. Mm. Amen. That's good. That's good. Mm. So that pain is there as a signal to you. Not that you succumb to it, but that you overcome it. Amen. Prophet, anybody want to, before we go on? And you see, if it's in an economical situation, then you've got to still believe that you're a millionaire. That's what the Master Prophet told us last night. You got to choose to elevate your thinking process and believe against all odds that you're a millionaire. If it is you've been attacked in your health and the pains are settled in your body, you got to know that you're healed and that you're whole. You know what? When they try to douse you down with the pain medication, you got to go beyond that and go with it in and change the, 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 the feeling nature from the pain to the joy. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> you, got, you got to definitely know that you got to, if, this, if your house situation is under attack, you're going to believe that the house that God gave you, none can take it away from you and stop fearing foreclosure and take some direct action to put it to stop in its tracks. Oh my goodness. Jesus. That's a Selah. I hope you're getting something out of this because I'm going to follow Spirit, and Spirit just told me just to end it right here. Because we're going on to something else. Here's another portion of this book. And we could be here. And um, I don't know, I think you've had enough, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure how much more you can handle it. But I heard spirit, and I am going to be obedient to spirit. For you see, I have all these principles here. We're going to hit them, so I thought. And we're going to hit them all, so I thought. But that's not what God is saying. You have enough right now to go on and work with, really, for the rest of your life. This is an ongoing process. Because can I tell you, at each level, there's another level of rejection. You just experienced it on this little level here. At the next level, there's a whole nother level of rejection going on. Amen. And at each level, you're going to have to manifest the resurrection. Amen. You can't say, well, I, I overcame there and that's it. No, no, no. There's still another one coming. Amen. So you're always arriving. We're always becoming in this. We never stop becoming. And you don't ever want to stop becoming. Amen. And so you, you have enough right here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be obedient. Jesus, I'm still wound up. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, but I'm going to get out of this mode somehow. But I know what God is saying. I'm going to be obedient there. Just know. If you, now, there's so many things we said in here today, but all 122 of you in the chat room and however many on the telephone conference call line, God is setting you up, 164 on the conference call, God is setting you up to reach new heights, new levels of prosperity, of prosperity in thought, prosperity in experience, not just prosperity for you, but prosperity for those that you're connected to. Even in, this, even in these times. Can I tell you, especially in these times. This is the time when God showcases you. He showcases his handiwork in you. Because when the rest of the world say in doom and gloom, you're saying everything is fine, all is well. Amen. When the rest of the world is going under, you're rising up. They're foreclosing, you're buying. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I know exactly what I'm talking about. God is looking to lift you up. We talk about the wealth of the wicked being laid up for the righteous. Can I tell you, you were in that season. 
where the wealth of the wicked is being laid up for you. Now you who, you who have ears to hear, you who will go ahead and begin to move beyond your opposition, you who will rise up against the rejection, you who will say not so. That's the you who God is talking about. It's your time. It's your season. Amen. Now, how do you get out of that? You go ahead and you obey the prophet. That's why you're here. Obey the prophet. Do what the prophet says do. In whatever time, good times, bad times, you know, you only come to the prophet in bad times anyway. That's how we know that you're up next for the blessing. Because you're here because you're lacking something. And whatever it is that you're lacking, can I tell you, the prophet is going to be able to lead you into that place that you think that you're lacking in and begin to show you that, you know what, you never really were lacking there. You were only lacking in imagination and creativity. But guess what? I'm going to speak a word into your life that's going to bring you out of that. That's why the prophet is here. Call in your seat right now.